KC on the KCSE.TV networks. This is part of our travel adventure series. We're coming to you today live from South Africa, Cape Town, and we're on location at the Radisson Blue Hotel Waterfront. And I have the honor and the privilege today to present to you Ms. Salona Reddy. And I'd like her to share with you um, project related to the upcoming World Cup Games, something I'm sure that you'll enjoy and be fascinated with. Salon. Great. Hi, um, my name is Salona Reddy. Uh, I work with a very interesting project called 2010 Five Art. It is where lovers of soccer and lovers of art can find uh, their joy uh, in the same place. Um, the 2010 Fine Art Collection is the world's first soccer-related art collection that is endorsed by the International Football Federation, FIFA. Um, and our company has taken the opportunity to give 22 African artists from nine African countries the opportunity to give the first African World Cup uh, a truly African flavor and feel. Um, I'd love to give you a sample of some of the works which we are exhibiting and selling right here at the Madison Blue Hotel at the Waterfront. What you've just seen is one of my very favorite images from the collection. Uh, a photographer called Clint Stratum, previously a charcoal sketch artist and now uh, a commercially very successful photographer. Clint Stratum, the photographer of this particular piece, uh, took a very unique approach to photographing soccer. This particular collection is called The Real Heroes and what he's done is photograph children who play soccer on the beach. There's no stadium, there's no pitch, there's two sticks in the ground and kids just having fun with the soccer ball and they really are the face of African soccer and he's given them a global platform for people to appreciate. So the artist you've just seen is Wakaba Weteki, a Kenyan artist who arrived in South Africa 10 years ago, homeless, with no formal training in art, and who is now an award-winning artist whose work sells for tens of thousands of dollars uh, for the originals. Um, we have here a series of prints which are much more affordable. Um, and we hope to give him a much wider audience that can actually afford and appreciate his work. Some of the paintings. I love these images. People are never sure whether they are uh, paintings or photographs and they often come up really close to have a look at them. And what they are is uh, kids playing with brand new soccer balls for the first time and not having to play with hand-me-downs. Wow. So they have a really special energy and uh, excitement to them. So very nice. And here we go, kids playing on the beach. Um, again, a really simple, really beautiful image um, that captures just balance and beauty and action and, uh, and poverty, uh, you know, doing what Joan Armatrading said, making poverty look romantic. <laughs> See, outstanding. This is a, a, a tricky image to film and, and a tricky image to watch. Uh, the photographer actually has a master's degree in psychology and what you have here is both a photograph and a painting in one. Um, what he does, it's a technique that, uh, that he has worked on and he's got his own specific variant of it. He takes a photograph, enlarges and pixelates it and then uses oil paints to paint each pixel. So and as I stand back right here, I can see the face. There you go. 
a big smiling face looking this way. Yep. Wow. So close up you see the painting and far away you see the photograph. That was wild. And here we have Barbara Plona, uh, an established artist from rural KwaZulu-Natal who paints uh, in the Bele people. That's a style that she's uh, moved into. She works with a mix of oils and acrylics. And she's incorporated the soccer into, uh, into her art form in a very powerful way. Images are vibrant and full of action and color and energy. Nice. We have some animals. And this is a collection that requires a sense of humor. Uh, the artist is traditionally a wildlife artist and when I first heard that he was part of the series I couldn't quite imagine how. But uh, it's really playful, it's really fun um, and uh, he's got the animals really taking control of the game. Uh, this particular piece is called My Ball where a leopard cub has got a hold of a soccer ball that he's not going to let go of very easily. <laughs> Nice. And this one with some very perplexed ostriches is called World Cup Hatching. World Cup Hatching. Very nice. And that is what we're experiencing in South Africa right now with 39 days to go to kick off is uh, the World Cup Hatching while we wait uh, with the uh, bait breath. Very good.